Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. So the mother of all uh, bear traps was definitely set today and put into motion. I, I don't think anybody uh, could expected, could, would have expected, or should have expected anything that we saw today. Um, you know, we, we talked about the levels um, this weekend, right? On the update, how important it was for the Qs to reclaim the 260 level and the Q's macro to reclaim this 263 level. And if I would have told you today that the Dow Jones industrial average was up eight points, you, you would really figure based on how majority of the action last week really, really condensed, you would have figured based on the Dow Jones industrials, there wasn't a lot of well to talk about, to do today. And you'd be very, very surprised and be very, very wrong of the, of the results. And the most amazing part about 2020 is expect the unexpected, okay? Um, you know, always have an opinion, uh, always have a course of action, always have a plan. But again, remember, anything could happen at any time. It's like that fastball pitcher throwing you nine straight fastballs down the middle and you keep on, you know, hitting it out the ballpark. And then all of a sudden, on the 10th pitch, they throw you a curveball and you swing and miss. And I think that's a lot of, uh, I, I think it's the best way to describe kind of what happened to the Bears today. I, I think uh, they were caught incredibly... Uh, off guard today, okay, uh, and it really started out so innocently. If if you look at the market today, and again, for those who don't know, the Nasdaq, you know, Nasdaq Composite uh, closed at all time highs. The NDX closed at all time highs, and now you have the Qs. Not only that we'd reclaimed this uh, 260 area we talked about, uh, but reclaimed this uh, 263 area, and literally a stone throws away from challenging this 270 area. And the most amazing part about today's session was, and this is kind of what we talked about on the video on the weekend, I turned around and I said, I can't see how, and this is me talking on the video last night, I can't see how we get an expanded move to the upside considering how much work the these stocks really need to do. Uh, and I said in a weird way, I would almost prefer these stocks confirming to the downside because there would be so much more measure potential. Again, this is why Wall Street and the stock market and trading is the greatest reality show that's not on television. And, and I said this so amazingly, I think everybody got caught off guard. Unless you were sitting in these stocks for, for weeks, right? Um, nobody could imagine that we were going to see some, you know, some of the most aggressive candles to start the day. I mean, I didn't. Of course, look, there was some pretty good uh, long pivots. And obviously, you'll see the mother of all long pivots. Obviously, you can guess what it is by now. <laughs> right name Tesla, um, but but again I think nobody was really prepared for it mentally until like really an hour or two hours two and a half hours in the day, and it really started out so innocently uh, with Amazon right and Amazon we talked about these levels here to the bottom, and you know it got upgraded today so that wasn't kind of a big deal. It was what happened after it took out its first channel here. We talked about that area here, that 3032 area briefly. I know some of you guys caught the trade, but when I say caught the trade, it wasn't catching the trade. It wasn't catching the move. It was literally catching the trade. And Amazon, you know, had a nice little pop, went from 3032, and it traded right to this 3069 level. And things from it, it really did something uh, amazing. And we always talk about how beta is a tribe. They're they're in their own kind of ecosystem and one goes, they all go. And just like that, uh, a week of you know really, really good, healthy profit taking into the bottom of the range on these beta names, just with one little snap of the finger, not only the Amazon, and again, you can see what it did here, up 235 points in the day. Not only did Amazon wake up, it really took everything up with it. And this is what's, you know, this is why it's so important to have kind of an open mind. You know, um, again, I thought, again, I said, I thought the value today uh, was going to be on the downside. But again, having an opinion and being stubborn, you know, two different, you know, two different conversations. And, uh, you know, I thought it was a decent day. Okay. Um, again, I, I, I'll be first person to admit, I, there's no way I saw this coming. And I, I didn't think it was going to happen. Um, and I said this in the live webinar, although we had some pretty decent pivots, to the upside, you know, again, who in the right mind could turn around and say, you know what, NASDAQ's gonna be up 300 points today 
and everything is going to literally take out its range in one day. Again, you can maybe see it happening happening throughout the course of the day, and you'll see uh, kind of on the pivot feed how you know we started putting in pivot after pivot after pivot after the initial Amazon run. But anybody who um, who says they saw this coming today, okay, you know you're a better human being than I am. You're a better <laughs> you can see the market better than I could because uh, again I was sitting there around 11, 11, 30 and I go, okay, this is pretty impressive. Where the hell did this come from? So uh, amazing move, absolutely amazing moves. And now you are getting uh, closer, closer uh, to the meat of uh, earning seasons. I apologize, Wednesday is uh, Tesla. Uh, I think Amazon and, um, I forgot which ones they were. They got pushed back to the 30th, okay, towards the end of the month. Um, IBM came out with earnings today. Um, you know, IBM came out with earnings today. And this is, this is kind of the testament of where 2020 is. IBM never beats their number, okay? If you go back in for months and months and months and years and years and years, I don't remember the last time they actually beat their numbers. You can see all these gap downs are quarterly misses, right? Literally all the misses, but in this type of environment, uh, even Amazon, the blo broken clock is always right twice a day, you know, moving higher as well. So Wednesday, uh, we have Tesla, and just like the way uh, Amazon was really triggered by an incredible, you know, just a, you know, run-of-the-mill average upgrade. Uh, a buyer came in today, you know, when, when Tesla was trading literally, I think it was trading 15, I think it was trading 1502, maybe 1501. A buyer came in for the 1940, I think it was the 1945 weeklies. Obviously, that's going to, uh, that's going to cover the earnings. And just like that, I mean, literally just like that, um, this thing exploded. And what was important about this explosion, it wasn't just a random explosion, it took out macro ranges. And that's just kind of where we start out, uh, kind of start out the day. So this is the feed, obviously these, these two areas here never, never, you know, never even came close to, uh, to confirming BYND, Zoom. Again, you can see I was, my initial thought process was to the bottom, but this is kind of where things got pretty, pretty aggressive here. Uh, Tesla, 15.40 to the upside, 14.50 to the down, 50 cent to the downside. I said it's getting super weak. It will break hard one way or another. Uh, just remember, always second entries. And Tesla, again, this is why it's Tesla. So Tesla takes out this 15.40, takes out macro 15.50, and all it did is gone to 16.58. Just an unbelievable move on Tesla. Just amazing. Just an absolute amazing move. Obviously, the diamonds uh, never got down to the 266 level. Uh, one weird part about today's rally in uh, the NASDAQ composite, you would have thought it would have put, uh, pulled up the diamonds. You would have thought it would have uh, pulled up the IWM. But IWM, considering it, it has uh, a very, very strong chart. If you look at what happened to IWM on the day, it was red. Very, very odd. Considering speculation money was flowing into uh, so many names, you would figure you know, there would be, a, you know, this thing would catch a bid, but it didn't. Very, very odd. Something to keep, you know, keep an eye on. Uh, Boeing was a pretty good short. Uh, I caught a piece of the Boeing trade as well. Uh, 75, 30, 75 for builds below uh, can flush. Uh, Boeing, uh, you know, got hit. I mean, this Boeing, you know, it lost this channel, uh, lost this channel here of 25.50. And you can see here, the first move was really, really nice. 20, uh, 75.50, 75 went all the way down to the 71 and change area. Big move there. And again, I started saying to myself, well, let's just start watching the others. What I didn't mention was we should start watching the others to the upside because that's exactly what happened and everything started going uh, absolutely nuts. Uh, this was the first one that really that started going outside of uh, Amazon, 240 needs to build. Uh, too low just went nuts. Again, you, you could pretty much say everything went nuts uh, that trigger. But here's the 240. We talked about this uh, on the video last night. Once it took out the 240, it took out 52 week highs at 248 uh, and went to like uh, 265. Just a huge move on too low. Uh, obviously, FSLY never got down to the 76 area. Uh, Docu, big move here. 197 needs to build. That's heavy supply there. Uh, Docu, again, we started seeing some pretty good aggressive 202, 250 call buyers came in. 
uh, took out the 290, uh, took out the 197 area, uh, traded as high as the 203. I still like this thing on a continuation for tomorrow. Uh, big move there. Uh, S FPRX never got up there. Oh, IMMU uh, 43 needs to build. Nice little move on IMMU there as well. Here is the 43, right? Here is the 43. Uh, went to 44, pretty much closing the high of the day. Again, I still like this as well for a continuation move uh, to 45 uh, tomorrow. That looks really, really good as well. Obviously, Netflix never got down to 84. Uh, Twitter, 37. It closed right over the 37 area. 39 called. 39 call buyer came in, a couple call buyers came in, I believe uh, that is covering their earnings. But this, again, this thing is, looks like it's breaking out, wants to confirm uh, for tomorrow. Uh, Bo Boeing, again, nice move on Boeing. Uh, ZS I traded as well. Um, you know, I, again, I didn't trade it well. I think I caught it for like 50, 60 cents or so. And then the rest I got stopped out. Again, I just didn't see it coming. That's the problem. I did not see these trades coming. And I was really, you know, contempt to, to, to take a lot of these things uh, for cash flow, but you know, I got long. You know, I got long the 74, uh, 124, and again, stock was trading really thin. And you look at the end of the day, I go 120. I go, wow, I really screwed the pooch on that one. But again, look, uh, you know, positive trades are still positive trades. Doesn't make a difference what happens there. Uh, too low again when nuts. Uh, Apple, big move on Apple. Uh, 38860 needs to build. Uh, here's Apple again. All beta woke up like very, very aggressively. So here's the 388. Uh, 60 area traded uh, as high as the 394. Big big move on Apple as well. So they all woke up. They all woke up uh, late. Diamond Kings, uh, DraftKings uh, failed. Uh, actually, excuse me, never got the 37. So there's nothing there to talk about. Uh, Facebook towards the end of the day went absolutely nuts. Uh, 243 80, 244 needs to build. Macro 244 82 is big. Uh, here is Facebook again. They were coming for. Uh, the 250, uh, 250 weeklies, and again, broke out perfectly. Took out uh, this 44, took out this uh, 45, and now it looks like it wants to test 52-week uh, highs tomorrow as well. Uh, so that was a nice move as well. Uh, Baba got rejected 55, 60 several times here. Uh, and again, had a hard time getting through that level, right? So here's the 55, 60. You can see it had a hard time here. It's 5560, 5560, uh, 5570, and then again just didn't give a second entry. I, I still kind of like it for tomorrow, but there's still a big seller here in this 5560 area. They got to really clear this guy out. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on that one as well. And I, you know, it's amazing. I, as I was typing 1550, and just to give you an idea of how strong Tesla was. I was typing 1550 as the stock was trading at 1560. I'm talking about in three seconds, it was put up a $10 move. So the tweet wasn't even dry, right? Amazing, just an absolutely amazing move. And I joke around, I mean, congratulations who caught this Tesla move. I mean, just insane. It literally went through, it literally touched the sun today. Just an absolute insane move uh, by Tesla. There were a couple of smaller cap names I caught as well. Uh, guys, I'm telling you, I can't reiterate the point even even more. These small cap stocks on order flow, they just they're giving you spikes, you know, 10, 12, 15, 20 cent spikes very, very quickly and aggressively. I caught that IDX uh, also uh, today as well. So again, market is a beast. Um, obviously, if we somehow open up red tomorrow, all these stocks that broke out, Tesla, Amazon, everything, anything, anything that retraces back to uh, 60 minutes support, you have to be buying them there because if they go red to green, they're going to tomorrow will be act uh, two. So guys have a great night, everybody. Just, just a crazy market. Uh, again, I don't know what the headline from CNBC is, but if they talk about a flat day in the market with the Dow Jones industrials being up eight, nine points, you'll know exactly how irrelevant these, um, these indexes really are. Guys have a great night, everybody. God bless. And I'll see you tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.